You'd think this would be easier. I think this is take five, maybe take six. Anyway, Mr. Bennell, Hart's technology coordinator on how to do a Schoology, Schoology discussion. I'm not gonna stop for that. Um, I've already logged into Schoology. You can see that right here. I always go to the materials page. You can click into an assignment directly here, but in case, like in this, in this example, there's a, a bunch of nothing. Um, in some examples, there's a bunch of pages that you need to read before doing the assignment. If you go directly to the assignment, you won't see those. So if you need a couple of tips, if there's a whole bunch of folders in a class, you can click on this little arrow right here and it shows you all the folders. You can navigate directly to folder that way. Here are some folders I can see. I click on this little arrow. It shows me the assignments in the folder. Um, I can either click on the folder and see all the assignments in the folder. Or I can just go straight to the discussion I need to do. Here's a discussion. Number one most important thing when doing a discussion, read the directions. Here, make one original post and so forth. So I'm going to read the instructions before I do the assignment. Then I'm going to do the assignment. Once I click in here, there's the window right there is where you enter the assignment, where you enter your post. Uh, you've got all the editing tools. You can do bulleted lists, numbered lists, indents, uh, spell check. You can change the font. Make sure it's readable. Your teacher likes to see readable text, not tiny font, not scrolly fonts, uh, readable text. And, and then I can enter Google, Bing, whoop, nib, Bing. Wow, I can't type. Bing. Let's say I want to add, so add a link in my response, and that's possible, and you want somebody to click out to the link, or you want to give them some information. If you, if you don't want to type a bunch of information in on some other subject, you can add a link. Let, right here, Google, if you highlight that and go over here to insert content and click on link, you can type in com, and that will turn this into a link in your response. You can also link down here. If I type this down here, oops, I need to enter, click in the text window. You can also paste into this window and I click attach. Now I've got a link up here. This link appears at the bottom of the page. You can only have one link at the bottom of the page, but you can have many links. I can change this link to this to a link. I can change this to a link. Um, and have several links in the text of your response. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and then now I'm going to post my response. That wasn't it. I was lying. I posted my response. Here's some other responses. To reply to somebody's response, I just click on reply. That opens up a text window. I can post my reply right here. Type in the response, post my reply. Let's say I'm dissatisfied with my reply and I want to get rid of it. I click on delete. And that gets rid of my, my um, and I'm sure I want to delete that gets rid of my post. But I don't. if it's a graded assignment, I want to make sure I, I put whatever in, I edit it and take care of it ahead of time and not just randomly delete my work. So that's the straight, that's it. Instructions, read the instructions, click on the text window, you know, enter your post, click on post, the add a link there or there. There's all sorts of resources you can add, but that's pretty much it. That's how to do a school discussion. Thank you.